one guy's chat here with green light shooting and as you can see man i'm not in my normal studio i am out here working with the collector in one of his beautiful gun rooms we've got some new lights and, and stuff we're setting up here for him and uh, i thought it'd be a good time to just make a little video of my own while i'm here the collector if you don't know who the collector is by the way go check out his channel man i've been working with him for like i don't know seven or eight months now and my goodness has the dude exploded he's got one of the coolest firearm collections i've ever seen we're talking millions of dollars in guns a private range in his basement it's such a cool channel uh we started it like i said seven months ago or something and we're at 330,000 subscribers and almost 30 million views at the time of this video so the collector and i have become very good friends along this journey and uh, my birthday was in october and he surprised me with what he knows is maybe my favorite handgun of all time it's it's something that i have i've wanted all of my shooting career and uh, i even made a deal with him when we started his youtube channel he said when we hit 500,000 subscribers that he would buy me one of these guns so that's always been in my head man we're always reaching for that gun and he surprises the heck out of me for my birthday in october and gets me that gun so we're going to talk a little bit about that gun today as you can see we have a beautiful staccato 2011 bag right here imagine my surprise when i get this for my birthday open this thing up and uh my goodness whoo so that is the Staccato C2, and that is not, it's not just any C2, this is a limited edition Staccato C2. Not only is the C2 a limited edition, but my videographer is a limited edition as well. Let's give a shout out to Johnny, that marketing guy, Johnny, for holding the camera over there. He said it might be shaking a little bit. He said he might see some lights in the background. Just know, uh, you know, he's he's doing his best back there okay back to the gun we've got the staccato c2 limited edition as i mentioned and the limited edition part about this thing number one it is optic ready number two it's got an aluminum frame meaning it is significantly lighter than its standard steel body counterpart uh, there's a couple other things as well but most importantly we've got a built-in compensator this is not something that you generally see on the c2 series my goodness is this thing an absolute beauty First so for those that aren't familiar with the 2011 platform, listen man, I've been a handgun fan for as long as I can remember. I like handguns over rifles, I don't know what it is, I just enjoy shooting them more. And because of that, the 2011 the Staccatos, they've always just been like a pipe dream for me. You know, they're always kind of been like the Ferrari, the Lamborghinis of handguns. It's something that I never thought I would own. So now seeing this thing in my hands, it's it's unreal. Uh, just a lot of the the more modern features that you're used to seeing in, in sort of your tactical polymer guns or whatever, but now it's implemented in a very easy, flat shooting 1911 style gun, uh, just you know, brought to the modern day tactical guy. So let's back up and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the actual technical specs about this gun, and then I'm gonna go shoot this thing. So as I mentioned, it is chambered in nine millimeter, making it very, very fast and easy and flat to shoot, but also meaning that it can hold a lot of capacity. So I showed you that this is a 16 round magazine, kind of a double stack setup. You've got three of those in this gun. For the barrel, we're looking at a four and a half inch bull threaded barrel, and it's got a Dawson Precision Ice Compensator that's actually made specifically for this gun. So this isn't some sort of like aftermarket setup. This comes stock on this gun in this limited edition style. And one of the best parts about any 2011 is how crisp and beautiful the trigger pull is. So this is a three pound trigger. I'm gonna point this this way so you can kind of see. So first of all, that's how much take up I have. That's it, man. This thing is super controlled. And as soon as I come to that wall, mm, you can just feel how crisp that is. And then watch this reset. It is so, first of all, you can feel it. It pops back out to that reset. It wants to reset. You can hear it. It's, uh, it's just a very fantastic trigger. Another thing I didn't know about this limited edition is it actually comes with these uh, special slide serrations. Now, normally the C2 doesn't have these slide serrations. This is something that you'd only normally see on the Staccato X series, like the XL. Obviously all blacked out. And then we do have uh, ambidextrous safeties right here. And I think that's really important because when you're carrying a gun with this light of a trigger, say you want to carry an appendix or something like that, this is your concealed carry gun. For me, 
I'm definitely wanting a manual safety on a gun like that. So I'm glad that it has these on there. And then sights wise, up top here in the front, we have a fiber optic sight. And then the back uh, just came with a, like a, a, an optic plate that was on there with uh, blacked out rear sights. So the collector was kind enough to get me a, an adapter plate with, again, an optic that, man, I just never thought I'd own. A Trijicon SRO with the 2.5 MOA dot. And the, the reason I never thought I'd own it is just because like, I mean, it's hard to justify for me buying this. This is like a, I don't know, $700 optic. So the fact that he went above and beyond knowing that I really like this optic, it's got a huge window on it. Like the, the viewing window, when you bring this optic up, oh my goodness, you have so much room. You can see everything. And then the dot is obviously super crisp and clear. I went the 2.5 MOA. I like a smaller dot. I like to be more accurate with my dot rather than just covering it with a larger MOA. Kind of personal preference, but the fact that, honestly, he gave me the option. He had a five and he had a 2.5. He asked me which one I wanted. Uh, so I really got to trick this thing out to exactly how I would want it. All right, we're in, our, in the uh, in the collector's range in his basement. Now, Johnny's gonna be filming me. We're just gonna have to trust that, you know, I'm in focus and exposed and all that stuff. Oh, I'll expose you. Just cause I'm... See how, see how I adjusted exposure right there? It's a, it's a play on words. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, you guys know I have sweaty hands. I have gloves on because of that. Get all the jokes out. It's okay. Um, we are in the collector's range and and uh, we're gonna shoot this gun. So let's go. First time shooting it. My goodness, am I excited. I'm, I think I'm shooting a little low. Shooting a little low, but like it feels it is so smooth. It is crazy how smooth it is. I think I rolled the slide a little bit, not gonna lie. That was user error. Did I flinch on that last one? I uh, felt a little bit of a flinch, but not bad because honestly, there isn't a ton of recoil that you feel like you're compensating for. So, 10 more rounds. We're gonna try and make a, we're gonna go for like a, a really good, slow five round group. See what we can get. And then we'll just, we'll just kind of rapid fire the last fives. Let's just see how flat it's shooting. So, we're gonna go for the top of the red circle here. Try and get a good group. Good group. All right, five shots fast. It shoots really, really flat, man. It feels so smooth. What you feel when you shoot this thing is you feel that comp really pushing down on the gun. Like you don't feel the normal muzzle rise, especially with the aluminum frame. You think you feel that a little bit more, but you don't, you feel it staying flat and you feel the recoil coming straight back rather than sort of that flippy feeling that you get with a lot of guns. So, I mean, everything about it, trigger, reset, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard it a million times. I, I can't recommend this gun enough. I'm so stoked on it. All right, so here was the majority of my first shooting. Uh, all of here was sort of what I was shooting fast. And then this was my five round group that I was trying to group well. So obviously you can shoot as accurate as you want it to. And uh, you know, with as flat as it's shooting, you can keep that thing in a critical mass situation uh, all the time. And you saw how flat this thing shoots, man. It just feels so good. It feels like, like if you've ever sat in a sports car, the way the seats wrap around you, the way the controls are right where you need them to be, everything just falls in place. That's exactly what it feels like shooting a luxury handgun like this. It makes uh, a, just a normal shooter like me feel like a proper professional shooter. Like it shoots so flat, it shoots so fast, it's so accurate. The optic is just, ugh, I love this thing. I cannot tell you how over the moon I am about this. And the fact that the collector just went above and beyond for my birthday, I mean, whatever. It just shows how gracious of a guy he is. And, and I can't thank him enough, man. Like, like I said, the fact that I can say this is mine is something that I never thought I'd be able to say. Talking about the price of this gun, like, it's insane to me like it's it's not necessarily maybe like an astronomical price for a gun in general but for the average gun buyer it's 
it's some sports car. Like I said, it's a Ferrari, it's a Lamborghini. So this thing is coming in at about $3,200. And it just lives up in every way imaginable. So once again, I just can't thank the collector enough for this thing. Uh, please go show him some love, man. Head over to his channel. I'm the one behind the channel. I'm building the channel with him. I'm filming the videos, editing them, so you know it's gonna be good content. And uh, yeah, shout out to you guys for, for hanging out with me on this journey so long, seeing my first videos with, you know, when I bought my first Glock 19 and, and I had my Remington 1911 and then, and then now knowing that I'm gonna be shooting this thing. So you're gonna be seeing this gun a lot more on my channel. I can't wait to take it to the range and put it through the paces. And uh, you guys know me, I'm a big dry fire guy. So I'm gonna be putting this thing through a lot of dry fire paces as well. If you guys wanna see more high-end guns like this and significantly more expensive guns uh, in general, head over to the collector's channel, show him some love. He's a very, very good person, as well as obviously the collection is crazy. So I uh, can't give him enough thanks for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time on Green